I'll start with this weak intake pull. Okay, you can see here it's it's slightly less pull on this this vent here. They just touch this grid line on all their other vents except for this one. So if, you, if we've got a, an ignition event here is our sink. So we'll line up with that at 720. Okay, so we've got our six pulses there. Now if we, if we had our exact cam specs, we'd be able to put them in. We don't have them, so I'm just going to use the standard specs, which will be close. But the purpose of this program is that we can utilize exact cam specs whereas the waveform overlay tool gets you in the vicinity but there are times particularly when you've got more cylinders sixes and eights because of the overlapping it sometimes can be a little deceptive and hard to distinguish which cylinder we should be identifying the idea of this is if we slowly build up a database of cam cards and had the proper specs we'd be able to accurately dissect these waveforms, or well, more accurately anyway. So we'll just leave those flags standard and we'll open up our markers. Now this is coming from the Nissan. The specs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And because we're going off an ignition event, we'll assume we don't have the timing, but we'll assume it was 10 degrees before top dead center. And if we were taking it from to top dead center, say from the peak of a compression tower, we wouldn't touch this, we'd leave it at zero. It's only when we're placing our cursors at an ignition event for our sink that we would want to change this from zero. So we're assuming roughly 10 degrees before top dead center. So we've got our firing order there. We're going to show all the cylinder events. And because we're looking at an intake waveform, what we're going to do is, we're going to, at the moment, just look at intake valve opening. So we'll take the others off. And we see here that had a weak pull, so up, which is number five. So after that intake valve opened, we had a, a weak pull. Okay, so it's identified the same thing as the waveform overlay tool would. So if we if we open this up here. We mark it the same. We can see here the number five intake pull was the weak one. Now, again, in this instance, it lined up nicely, so we we didn't have too much trouble at all identifying that that number five cylinder intake pull was the weak one. But as I said before, sometimes it's not that clear cut. So we'll just open it up again. So you see there, number five intake valve opened. And that was the event there. Okay. Now we've got a button down here, we can clear that, and this will reset the image. So we just take those off. And we'll just go back up again. And we can also have a look at some other events. So we'll just intake valve closed. So we'll have a look when the intake valve actually closed. You can see here they're right on top of one another. So uh, when number five intake valve opened, we see here number three intake valve closed. It's a bit hard to read there, but that's what happened at the same time. So they're almost right on top of one another, but in, in contrast, if we look at the waveform overlay tool, which only divides up our valve events into equal, even, segments and doesn't allow for valve duration or overlap. We have a look here when three intake valve closes come down to five we see that there's 
a huge difference in that time. So whereas here we're seeing a true value that 3 and 5 are almost on top of one another when the 3 intake valve closes, 5 intake valve opens, we should be seeing these taking up more of the other events. So that just gives you a bit of an idea of how this may be more helpful in some circumstances. So we'll just try our overlap. So when the intake valve opened and when our exhaust valve closed, we had our overlap period. So we'll just have a look at that. And this shows us our overlap periods. So when the intake valve opened, we had a slight raise in manifold pressure for an instant. And then when the exhaust valve closed, that's when we had our pull down. So by having our accurate markings, it helps us identify what's happening in some of these occurrences. So we can see here, the intake valve opened and there was just, for an instant, there was a, a little tiny pull downwards. Then it equalised before the exhaust valve closed. And that's when we had our pull back down into deep vacuum. So it might help some with understanding events. We'll try a different different waveform here. Okay, so here we've got two together. This is this blue one is our intake and this red one is our exhaust. So we'll just mark out our ignition events. And we'll assume 10 degrees. And this was a ranger which was 142536. 142. Okay, and this was synced off number two cylinder. Okay, so again, these waveforms are looking at when valves open. So what we're going to do here is we'll look at our intake valve open event. And we'll look at our exhaust valve open event. So intake valve opened, exhaust valve opened. Okay. So what we can see here is when number two intake valve opened, we had a sudden rise in pressure. And what we can see down here, if you look at these humps, down here, when number two exhaust valve opened, we had very little pressure coming up out of the tailpipe. So it's identified the problem in number two there. So when the intake valve opened, the pressure in the cylinder was forced back up into the manifold. As I say, the waveform overlay tool can do these. But the, the point of it is because we have the ability to mark out with our flags first our exact cam timing and then we can also allow for the offset of our ignition it's it's made our measurements a lot more accurate so we've offset for the ignition we can change it to after or before Another thing is nice that you can do is say we, we've already established that number two cylinder is the problem because the lines get quite messy. Here we've turned off all of the other cylinders except for number two and we're showing just the intake valve open and the exhaust valve open. So there's those two events on their own. And you can go back in and add more if you like. So we might decide now we want to look at Oh, we might want to look at the companion cylinder. So we can go and have a look at that one and see how that plays out. So if you want to reset it again, you just hit this button down here and that'll remove those lines. You can start again 